ESP32 features a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. In this tutorial, we will focus to the Bluetooth Classic because Bluetooth Low Energy or BLE deserves a separate tutorial. If you have experience using the commonly used Bluetooth module like HC05 or HC-06 like this one, the usage is almost the same. It uses a standard serial protocols and functions. We will start using the example sketch that comes with the Arduino IDE. And later on, we will modify the Arduino sketch to have something more useful. For testing purposes, we will be needing a Bluetooth serial terminal. So let us search a Bluetooth serial terminal. Then let us select the serial Bluetooth terminal by Kai Moritz. So I already installed this one. So this is how it looks. Now let us try to upload serial Bluetooth Arduino sketch that comes with the Arduino IDE. The sketch, the example sketch is available under the file examples and Bluetooth serial. Then serial to serial BT. I already select it and loaded. So it basically includes the Bluetooth serial library. Then it checks if the Bluetooth is properly enabled. It instantiate a Bluetooth serial with the name of serial BT. In the void setup function, it initializes a serial to 115,200 baud rate. It initializes the serial Bluetooth of the ESP32 with the name ESP32 test. Then it prints this one. In the loop, if there is data available in the serial, it will send to the serial Bluetooth. Conversely, if there is a data available from the serial Bluetooth, it will be sent back to our computer. And it adds a delay of 20 milliseconds. Let's upload this one by making sure that the ESP32 dev board is selected under the board and also the serial COM port is selected. After that one, hit upload. And let us just wait for a few moments. Compiling sketch. Now uploading. Still uploading. Done uploading. So, the device is started. Now you can pair it with Bluetooth. So, I will connect to our Bluetooth using my mobile phone. I will make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. So, I will turn on the Bluetooth. Then, I will scan for available Bluetooth devices, which is already paired with it. I will open the serial Bluetooth terminal. Then, in the devices, I will select the ESP32. Connecting to ESP32 test, now connected. So what I will do is I will send a message, like let's say, hi from from Android. I will send. And as you can see, it is received in the ESP32 and transferred to our serial monitor in the desktop. So, let's say hi from tech to tinker. Like that. Yay! It's working. So let us try 
to send coming from our desktop. So let's say, hello, how are you? And as you can see, it is received in our uh, mobile phone with the serial Bluetooth terminal. Another are uh, you doing good? Yay! Working! Next, we will upload another Arduino sketch which I already prepared here. So, this one I included some LEDs, the red, green, and blue LEDs, which as you can see here. So, still we include the Bluetooth serial library. Then I define pin assignments for the LEDs. I instantiate the Bluetooth serial, a serial BT. I created a variable of Boolean for the states of the LEDs. I declare a variable, a global variable for buffer data that coming from Bluetooth. And in the setup function, we initialize the serial Bluetooth as ESP32 BT. So I renamed the device name. Then I set the pin direction of the LEDs. And in the loop, I just call one function which is manage BT or manage Bluetooth. In the manage Bluetooth function, first we manage the data of the incoming Bluetooth data by always checking if there is a data available in the serial Bluetooth. If there is, we read a single character and put it in the in car. Then here, we constantly checking if the single character, if the character received is not a carriage return, then we add that in our buffer data. Else, if others, we, need, we reset the buffer index and we clear our buffer using a memset. Here, I use if so that it is a non-blocking code. Here, we compare, we execute a specific task according to a Bluetooth command. So, the string compare basically compares the two string, which is this buffer data and this one. And if characters are the same, so if this string is the same to this, it returns zero. If the buffer data is equal to red colon one, then we turn on the LED, the red LED. If the data or if the Bluetooth command received is equal to red colon zero, then we turn off the red LED and so on. After the checking, we update the LED state. Now, I will upload this one. Let us save and upload the sketch. Let us just wait until this one is complete. While waiting, I already prepared the shortcuts in the Bluetooth serial terminal, which is th this one. So R1, so this is to turn on the red LED. So let us long press this one. And as you can see, the name is R1, but the value is uh, red colon 1, which turns on the red LED. R0 basically sends red colon 0. The green one sends GRN colon 1. And so on. Done uploading. Let us uh, connect to our ESP32. I need to turn... Yeah, this one. 
USB 32BT now connected so let us send R1 so now red LED is on we can turn on the green by sending the green one green on turn on the blue LED blue LED on we can turn it off also also the green also the red so that's it if you have question regarding this please let me know by writing it in the comment box give me thumbs up share and subscribe thank you and see you in the next video bye